Hi everybody, it's Tara Michelle aka Opinionated Scents. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a declutter video that I've been trying to get done for like two or three weeks. So if you have recently watched my October rotation video, or well, I'll probably post this one first. You're going to notice I'm in the same shirt, same day. I literally just stopped fi filming the October rotation video like five minutes ago. So let's get to this declutter. Um, I'm going to start off first and I'll let you know that I'm going to put these on Mercari. So if I don't remember if it's an EDT or an Eau de Parfum or what, how many ounces, all of that stuff will be on Mercari, guys. Breathe, Michelle. I just really want to get some stuff out to you guys because I have not been able to film for a minute. And I'm just getting started with this. So I can't just be all iffy and fickle and stuff. Okay. The first one, Juicy Couture's Malibu. This is 2.5 fluid ounces, sprayed twice. Beautiful citrus scent. A clean citrus scent, but it's not strong enough for me, bold enough for me. This is a beautiful signature scent for someone, especially for the spring, summer. And I just want it to get a good home. I absolutely love Juicy Couture and Viva La Juicy. All right, another EDT. We have 4.2 fluid ounces Aqua Allegoria from the House of Guerlain. Perra Granita. This has been sprayed, you know, probably, you know, six to eight times. I've, I've worn it. It's a really nice scent. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's just that I prefer Passiflora. And my favorite from this entire line is Limon Verde. I actually got Limon Verde. Little side note. Um, and the same day that I got it, ordered a backup bottle. It was, it was, it was that good. Best lime note and any fragrance i've ever smelled in my life this is a 30 milliliter one fluid ounce bottle of isi miyaki lode isi pure nectar now this did not come full i have sprayed this once let me tell you why even though it says it's supposed to be pure nectar it's 100 floral if you guys have been watching my videos you know i am not a floral girl okay on to the next. Let's see, I have them in this box and my little short arms. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first set that I'm, I'm gonna sell as a pair because they're not expensive and I'm just not doing it shipping for something so cheap. So these have been in my collection for years. I've been wearing these since I was in my 20s. I'll be 40 in December of this year. So this is Eris by Paris Hilton. Cute little mirror on the back. Glitter in there. Great for a teenager. Great for in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whenever you want to wear it. I love this scent. It is fruity floral. A fresh fruity, really. I mean, I think there's florals in here. But please, this is amazing. And this is my eighth bottle in life. My eighth bottle. So the reason I'm parting with it is because, come on, you, you say it with me. It's time to move on, right? I will revisit this again in life. Heck. Once I get my collection down to something manageable that a normal human being should have, and by, I, I don't mean, if you have a huge collection, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about me. I am irritated with how ridiculous I got during COVID and blind buying. Um, Guess by Marciano. And both of these are 3.4 fluid ounces, if I didn't say that. This, this video is a wreck already. Um, <laughs> and I believe this is an, I can't tell because somebody put something on it. Um... A little sticker over it, you know. Brilliant. This is an Eau de Parfum. This is beautiful. This is sweater weather. If I wasn't so used to wearing this, I literally would be keeping it. You want your scarf, your hat, your coat, your gloves. You just want your sweater. You want everything to smell like this in the fall. This is stunning. Man, if you're in the comments and you've owned this before or if you still currently have it, let me know what you think. Like, I just think this is a gem. And it's the only guest fragrance I've ever owned. Never even remotely looked into any other guest fragrances. And it's a favorite. I really don't want to get rid of it. But guys, I got to start letting go of things I'm no longer reaching for. And it doesn't mean that they're bad in any type of way. It just means and all of these were purchased this year, by the way. All of these. <laughs> um... It just means that you want to make room and time for something else. Okay, this is supposed to continue with the mirror. Okay, yeah, make that go 
straight up and down. Okay, so it just means that you want to try some other things and, you know, move your rotation around and give them a good home so that they don't go bad sitting on the shelf for three or four years. No, not at all. The next one is from the House of Layered, formerly B Layered. I'm going to do a video on this house with the fragrances that I have because the fragrances that I have, I absolutely love from Layered. This is Danielle's Milk Bath Intense Feelings Unbottled Eau de Parfum 55 milliliter 1.8 ounces. Look how full that is. I sprayed it one time. One time. Let me tell you what. Come on a journey with me. You are a woman and you have just hopped in the shower. You have washed your hair thoroughly with a clarifying shampoo. So it is squeaky, 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 squeaky clean. Then you wash your body, every crevice, every everything. You are squeaky clean. Cleanest person on the face of the planet. And then you turn the water off. You don't rinse off at all. You keep the suds and the soap and everything everywhere. And you just you get out and go about your day. That is what this scent is. This scent is the cleanest, soapiest scent I've ever smelled in my life. This just goes too far with uh, clean and soapy. I literally couldn't take it. And, you know, not like a putrid smell, but like a why would you do this type? And that's just my opinion. If you love it um, or you've been wanting to try it and you really like soapy, clean scents, by all means, please get it. It'll be on Macari. My Burberry Black. Um, 30 milliliter one ounce um i held on to this specifically just because everybody else is loving it like no don't do that people this is peach ambery heavy um you don't need more than two sprays i've sprayed this a total of three times and almost choked um but this smells like perfume i don't like that i don't like perfumes that smell like perfume this smells like, um, and I got rid of my Burberry and my Burberry blush for the same reasons. Too chemical compound-ish. I like perfumes that smell like other stuff, like fruity, fruity florals, gourmand, apples, you know, notes that you can pick out. A lot of people pick out on the peach, and I'm telling you, I think that's because they know what's in there. Because I never would have guessed there was peach in there, but that's to my nose. I'm, you know, hey. This is Marry Me by Lan Zen, sprayed a total of three times. This is a sweet floral, not too sweet, just the perfect amount of sweet, 75 milliliters, 2.5 fluid ounces. Um, I've got this on the recommendation of Sarah Mays, another great YouTuber. If you're not following her, check her out. She's really good. She's really good at finding cheap scents that don't smell cheap. Um, and this is beautiful for your wedding, if you're just going to a wedding, if you're in a wedding, it's nice. But I'm not a floral girl again. And even though it's not that putrid headache inducing floral, putrid headache inducing floral, I can't see it with the box. Um, I still just didn't want it. I don't need it in my collection. Okay, this is the next set. And there's only two sets. It's Eris and Guess by Marciano um, in a set. And then these two I'm going to sell in a set as well. Two fluid ounces each. Amazing Grace. I feel like everybody on the planet knows about this perfume. By Philosophy or the Parfum. And I sprayed this twice. Musky Floral. Beautiful everyday signature scent for somebody that's just not me. I have no problems with this. None at all. Musky. Um, the right amount of sweetness. I just never reach for it and I don't purchase perfumes for them to sit there guys I really don't want to part with this one this is pure grace I'm only sprayed it once because this okay this is the girl the twin of the girl we already talked about with Danielle's milk bath she is the one who got in and washed her hair with a great smelling shampoo maybe something from herbal essence or something like that and washed her entire body and then um rinsed off that's the key you got to rinse off. She rinsed off and she got out and she's just perfectly her. This is an EDT and this is also two fluid ounces. So um, I just have so many fresh, easy going, you know, clean scents that I wasn't reaching for this one. So let's give it a, a good home. 
Okay, this is Alien Au Sublime. Bought this off a recommendation of Paula Shar. Paulina Shar. Did I say Paula? Help me. Paulina Shar. Tester bottle. This is a nice scent if you like Alien because it is identical to the original Alien, in my opinion. Yes, it has solar notes. Yes, it's a little bit lighter, so you can you can get away with wearing it in the springtime. I still think it's way too heavy for the summertime, but it does a little something magical in um, the summertime when it, if you're out in the heat. But why would you be wearing this outside gardening? Like, again, um, I'm never going to reach for this. I am not an alien girl. I'm an alien girl over Angel because Angel is horrible. But in that sense, I like to spray the original Angel for my little decant like once or twice a year when it's really, really cold outside and I just, I'm craving that smell. But I don't want it on my body. I'm not that hyped about it. I love Alien Essence Absolute. Did I say Angel? Anyway, I love Alien Essence Absolute and Alien Fusion. I have yet to find any angel uh, variation or flanker that I can tolerate. 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters, Jimmy Choo Fever or De Parfum. Now, if anybody in the comments can explain to me why some of these bottles say 3.4 fluid ounce for 100 milliliters versus 3.3 or 50 milliliters, 1.6 or 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces. Like, who's right? Even though this says that it is an eau de parfum, it is light enough to me, light and airy and watery enough to feel like an EDT. This is my second bottle of this. I'm only parting with it because my collection is so huge that I find I'm not reaching for it anymore. I want to get through some of my other um, Jimmy Choo flankers. I have, come on. Man, I hate to part with this, but again, I can always revisit it later in life. When I get this collection down to something that is manageable. Okay. Only a few more to go. Michael Kors Sexy Amber 1.7 Fluid Ounces. This is one of the best amber scents I've ever smelled in my life. It's slightly spicy, but not that spicy spiciness that you know I can't deal with. Because again, I'm not a floral girl. I'm not an overly spicy girl. This is beautiful. It's stunning. I hate to part with this. This is my third bottle of this fragrance. And so um, I want this to go to a good home for sure. And the next one is Ragba by Latafa. Now I bought this on recommendation of Amanda Coco Cabana. And in this, she said that she got vanilla and sugar and a little bit of oud and you know, like this boozy affect. Um, all I get is like cognac, rum, whiskey and any other brown liquor you could possibly smell and it's not vanilla it's not sweet it's not good to me all my skin is very harsh nobody in my house likes this i had them all tested and even though i've only had it like a week it has to go i sprayed it once that was enough for me to know this is an eau de parfum this is 3.4 fluid ounces 100 milliliters please take it if you want it uh -huh. last two I think I saved the best for last and I'm not selling them as a set I'm just going to show them to you together so this is 1.6 fluid ounces this is the Mon Perry EDP and this is just in the Stars collect, uh, Collector's Edition bottle now I can't find it written anywhere that actually says this is the same but I have tested this my husband has tested this my 16 year old daughter has tested this Again and again and again and again. And this is the original EDP. I don't care what anybody says. Somebody did a video and was like, um, they're different. One is strawberry and like raspberry or something like that. And the other one is red berries. I'm just, I'm just waiting on you guys to come to the same conclusion that I did that strawberries and raspberries are red berries. So there's no difference to me in the smell. Even if it is different, it's different. It is so, so similar to the original EDP that I do not need them both. And since I have used so much more of my original EDP, I'd rather sell the one that is way more, um, way fuller and, you know, newest. Because I've had this maybe two months. And this one is the Floral. So this is by Yves Saint Laurent as well. Mon Petit Floral. 
and this is also 1.6 fluid ounces this is also an other parfum this is the same as floral in love the collector's edition bottle and therefore since both of them i bought them at the same time they're both the same amount full i'm just going to get rid of the original one because i like the bottle on the in love one more so again i couldn't find anywhere that says they were the same but through extensive testing and extensive looking around at the notes they're the same on fragrances they're just listed in different order like i'm guys come and get them i will be putting them on macari right before i let this video go live or maybe i'll drop the video and then i think i'm going to do macari first to be honest just so that you guys aren't waiting that they're available for you once this video goes live so if you like my content please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my uploads and of course as always i want to see you guys in the comments share your thoughts or concerns any questions you have regarding these fragrances and until then i will see you guys in the comments Bye.